sanding down and repainting railings and gates such as these is a real daunting task for any householder. Removing all that rust, scale and old paint, not only daunting, it's a time consuming task. When gates and railings are first made, they're usually coated with just a thin coat of paint purely for decorative purposes only. The gate we're looking at here is quite a robust, well-made one. A good coat of powder coat on this gate from new would not have resulted in it looking like this. Well, here at Wilkinson's we have a practical solution that will restore this gate to its former glory. Saving you pounds, saving you time and making you wonder why on earth you ever painted it in the first place. As you can see on this gate, there seems to be more rust than paint, but here at Wilkinson's that really isn't a problem. So to start with, the gate is transferred to our blast room. Here in the blast room, at £150 per square inch pressure, steel grit is used to remove all the old paint and rust. Once all the grit blasting is done, we're left with a pure bare metal gate. No rust, no paint and no scale. The gate is then examined for any damage. If we do find any damage, such as broken welds, these are usually re-welded at no charge to you. Once we're happy with the condition of your gate, it's then transferred to our oven where it's heated up to approximately 220 degrees Celsius. After the gate's been in the oven for about half an hour, the powder coating process begins. The powder is applied electrostatically, which means it gets in all those difficult areas far better than any spray gun. As the powder coating goes on, it wraps around each individual part of the gate making sure that a nice even coat is achieved. Great care is taken to make sure that no parts or places are missed. and powder coating will ensure that three to four coats are applied to the entire gate to make sure that the correct film thickness is achieved.
after one side of the gate is done the other side is then done exactly the same as the first side The gate is then returned to the oven where it is baked for approximately 20 minutes at around 200 degrees Celsius. After the stoving time has elapsed, the gate is then brought out, hung up and allowed to cool. The gate is then examined to make sure that the complete gate has been coated correctly. What we're left with is a gate that not only looks smart, but has been coated with a durable finish that is going to last for a long time to come.